Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't see you there. I have a terrible habit of reading while I'm walking. Here, let me pick this up for you. Huh? Ah, sorry. I just noticed how stunning you are. You're really, really attractive. <laughs> you look surprised. What? Did I catch you off guard? Ah, that's my bad. I assure you it wasn't my intention to do so. I am horrible at holding my tongue and I couldn't help myself. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, but looking at you, you deserve way more than that. Have you looked in a mirror lately? You deserve to have the entire dictionary devoted to you, with many of those words used several times. Oh, definitely. If it were up to me, you'd hear words like breathtaking and striking and enchanting so many times that you'd be tired of hearing them. Or, better yet, you'd be able to hear them in my voice whenever you'd see them. <laughs> yes, but not just in books. If I were really lucky, you'd hear me whispering them to you any time you even caught a glance at them no matter where it was. <laughs> right, sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. When faced with someone like yourself, my mouth tends to move faster than my mind and wax poetic before I can even think what words to say. <laughs> but, as I've always heard, the heart tends to find the right words before the mind has a chance to. And as you may have noticed, my heart has found quite a few words for you. Considering the vastness of the words in every language, dead and otherwise, I can safely assure you that my heart has found only a few words. Though, let me assure you that with every passing second, I'm finding even more words that I can put to such a striking visage. Yes, indeed, striking would happen to be one of those words. As would radiant, seeing as how you've burned yourself into my vision as well as my mind. Ah, you're right. Again, my apologies. My tongue is that of a lover's, whereas my mind is far more logical. However, it seems that when I'm looking at someone who so perfectly embodies the essence of love, logic fails me completely. Speaking of which, I should probably return this book to you. You seemed to be enjoying it when I so rudely interrupted your reading. <laughs> it's a good book then. I could tell. Your eyes lit up when you spoke of it. Oh, my dear. I could listen to you speak of the book all day. Your voice is so melodic when coloured with the sounds of love. Hmm. Love for the book, of course. At least, that's what I'd assumed. Unless, perhaps, your attraction was directed at something else. Perhaps, if I may be so bold, at someone else? <laughs> oh, your eyes have gone wide. Have I surprised you again? <sighs> again, I'm sorry. I've been quite caught off guard by your presence. I hadn't expected for my trip to the library to be so eventful. No, I'm afraid I didn't. For as often as I've come here, 
I can't say that I've ever come across someone who has left me quite as enchanted as you have. Oh. <laughs> well, now I'm the one who's feeling flustered. To be called attractive by someone such as yourself has my heart beating like a wild bird in a cage. You should be careful with those sweet words, my dear. I'm a hopeless romantic at heart, and as I've told you, my heart is faster than my mind. And where matters of the heart are involved, my head tends to follow its lead. Love sickness may start in the heart, but it will find its way to my head sooner rather than later. I'll fall for you before I have a chance to catch my thoughts and pull my head from the clouds. Of course I would need to catch my thoughts. If I were to set them free, as you suggest, then you'd have enough love letters and poems and odes to your charm to fill a book if not shelves upon shelves of them. Mm-hmm, I assure you that you would. When I told you that I would use every word in the dictionary to describe you, I meant it. Every single word, at least once. And even then, I think I would be tempted to use some of them several times, repeating them until I could write them in my sleep. Oh, why that sounds like a challenge. Are you challenging me, my dear? Oh, on the contrary, I love a good challenge. Though, with you as my muse, I wonder if it will truly be a challenge. You've already brought several words to my lips and tongue already. Oh? You have an idea on how to make it more difficult? Well, you certainly know how to capture my interest, though it's been clear from the second I laid my eyes on you. <laughs> Do tell, my dear. What is this suggestion of yours? My, now that is an interesting suggestion. To see who can fill a notebook with poems and odes about the other first. It sounds like fun. Though, I think that there may be one thing we have to take into consideration before we both agree to this challenge. Yes, I think that, while I can think of a great many words and stanzas in mind to describe you, it would be easier to think of more if I could see you again. <laughs> Perhaps I am suggesting a date. Are you opposed to the idea? Excellent. Then perhaps do you have a pen I could borrow? And might I see your hand as well? Thank you. Then let me write my number on your hand so that you can contact me whenever you please. I hope your hand isn't too sensitive. There. And as I said, you can contact me whenever you should want to. And I do mean whenever, my dear. I will be more than happy to hear from you. Well, of course. To hear your voice or read your words, either would bring a smile to my face. Then, if I may... Could I see your hand again? Thank you. Then I shall leave you to your books. I look forward to hearing from you. Hmm? Oh, did I get some ink on my lips? <laughs> no, my dear. There's no need for that. I think I shall leave it as a sweet memento of our first meeting. That look on your face. You look quite pleased at the idea. Am I correct? 
All the more reason to leave it there then. <laughs> I hope to hear from you soon, my dear. I'll count the seconds until I can see you next and write a letter for every moment in between. <laughs>